It is now time to do the tasting of the Tokyo Treat Box. This is a few of the things here. Well, all of the things that came in the box. Try this out. I hate being on camera. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. I'm the one that's gonna probably gross out more than you. <laughs> so do the premiums at the end. Sure. So the first item I don't know what goes first. is the no poppies. Idea. I'm telling you. Well, how do you know which one's first? I have a list. Oh, so you're just going by there? Yeah, I'm going by the order. So we'll do the oh. classics first, and then we'll go to the... It's not special. So the Pocky is a fall exclusive <laughs> snack. It's milk chocolate, um, coats a fragrant, fragrant pretzel base made with cultured butter. Well, this one should be all right. There's a bunch in here. Too. Oh, an individual pack too. No, no, there's like, I think 20 in each one. No, oh, that's not bad. The packaging's pretty Let's cool, see. actually. Sure. Sorry. Well. You're not open the Well, no, but. It's neat packaging, though. It's better than we have for anything else. Share happiness. It's the only English writing on anything I've seen so far. <laughs> well, then. On there. <clears throat> ready? And what is it? Are we ready for you? Just have to eat it. Take a. Oh, it's all going to be stuck together. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, this jar. It smells gross. <laughs> yeah, but that does pretzel. It's not your typical pretzel, though. It's not a pretzel. It's, it's like those, it's, it's those breadsticks that you dip in the cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah, With okay. the chocolate on it. It's a dark chocolate, too. Pretty, pretty. It's not bad, though. No. Overall. I probably yeah. wouldn't run to it as a snack, but I would eat it. Yeah. I would. It's not bad. You like chocolate, though. Mmm. What's your next one? So then... The Kelby Cadded Plum and Bonita Flavored Chips. I think it's a sweet potato. Oh, no, sweet potato is the premium. Uh, this one is made by slowly frying thick cut chips for an extra crunch. Um, balances the fishy savory flavor. Oh, damn. <laughs> of Bonita with a gentle sourness from a plum. For a truly unique Japanese chip experience this awesome autumn. Well, you see, I do like sushi, but in a fishy taste of stuff, yeah. So, savory That's flavor. I want to know what it smells like. Okay, you can open it yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just about to open it, too. I don't want to be able to. I'll tear it, then. I don't want to rip the bag. You may explode it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, it doesn't smell bad. Okay. It smells like a plain chip. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have a fishy smell. I guess we'll see. Uh... Oh, let's try it. Uh 
That's weird. It is very weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, though. No, it's not terrible, but... Hold on. There's more flavors coming. Yeah, but it's not. It's still not bad. It's like a weird barbecue... I don't know what that is. It kind of tastes like, like cabbage. That is like the weirdest taste ever. But it's not bad. It's like cabbage and sauerkraut almost. I don't know. Mm. It doesn't smell bad and it doesn't taste terrible. It's not too bad. It's not horrible. It's definitely crunchy. They should learn how to make chips, but maybe a better flavor. Well, they probably do. This is uh, onion, ones? onion taro. So it's the best veggies come mm. out of autumn. It's a corn treat. A light snack with a rich and savory onion flavor. Apparently it is very oh, yeah, addictive. Up there. Yeah. I like that everything has a person or a weird... Character? Character on it, yeah. There's peanuts in there. I don't want to open it anymore. You do it. <laughs> I feel like it's just going to go everywhere. Um, <laughs> okay. Wow. A lot of puffs. It smells like onion. That's can't be bad then. Tastes like cheese puffs. Pretty much. Like um Cheetos. Oh well. The soft fluffy. <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I like I those ones. Mine. I don't mind them at all. Okay, this one, oh, this one is the one that scares me. Is that the, the this cabbage one? This is the one? Don Don Yaki Kimchi fermented, flavor. Yeah, fermented cabbage. So it's uh, the tasty bite-sized kimchi flavored cracker. Has a texture and gentle spice to warm you on a chilly autumn day. Mm. It looks like a little um, piece of toast. It's almost like, did you show the thing this? I don't know. Camera? I can't remember. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. So I might as well do it now. Yeah. Well then. You can still that's not bad. It's not terrible. It tastes like burnt toast. Not quite. No, it's not bad. Oh, I don't mind it. I don't hate it. I just... There's the spice. Curry There's chips. Curry top one, yeah. So these mm. are the... Japanese is famous for its curry. Light snacks are perfect treat when you want a heartwarming curry taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, oh, that is strong. Well, it's curry. Smell. <laughs> you should smell it. <laughs> there we go. Let's show it. it. Looks like a little worm. Fucking curry. Oh, yeah. I like those ones very much. That's my least favorite so far. Yeah. Even below the kimchi, actually. The next yeah, one those is... ones aren't the greatest. No, the aftertaste is terrible. Yeah, dude, I don't like the aftertaste at all. <laughs> yeah. um, I like curry, but no, that's, that's different. Uncle Pierre's Roll Cake is this one. It's uh, rich and creamy flavors, and Uncle Perry's Roll Cake will have you thinking of home. Sweet, nostalgic flavors of a treat are loved by Japanese people and are sure to be an instant hit. They have way better packaging than we do, to the point that it's like harder to open. Alright. Oh, there's only one roll cake. Oh, just break it. Or you gonna just take a bite, man? Just break it up. I like how you did that. You have the bigger one, yeah. Well. It looks like the Swiss rolls. Yeah, basically the little jelly filled ones. It smells pretty good. Yeah. Oh, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. What's that green flavor? Oh. I wish I could read Japanese. That one's good. That definitely is good. Mm -hmm. It's a lemon. 
Is it? Yeah. Okay, so it's like a little, <clears throat> you know, like These ones little look little. like. This is the Caramel Taro. Uh, sweet things are the best thing to eat when the weather gets colder. It's a peanut shaped caramel. Thumb. And then your little moon ones that you're talking so much about. Yeah. Your moon ones. Yeah, it's a the peanut. Up there. Oh, yeah, I don't get those ones. <laughs> We're not outside. We have to go outside and go oh, around. Oh, man. These are peanut shaped mm -mm. caramel corn. Wow. Very light peanut butter, peanut taste to it. It's supposed to be caramel. <laughs> no, I know, it's like a peanut butter taste, but though that ain't too caramel. I don't find any mm. And you love caramel, so. These are the potato fries. Mm -hmm. uh, ever wonder how Japan takes on American treats? These are salty snacks, replicate the salty flavor of fries. And I have you asked me if you want fries with that? I told you I was going to do it. Oh, whatever. It smells like a french fry from McDonald's. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it tastes just like a french fry. It does exactly fry. like it does. It really does, though. <laughs> yeah. And it's way better than a cold Krabby, right? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those yeah. are good. Those actually taste like actual french fries. Ah, this one. I don't know, that's a good one. French fries. <laughs> one. Think you're in these are the, the, the moon viewing is a popular autumn pastime for Japanese people. And what goes great with moon viewing is moochie, of course. So you're supposed to eat it while you do moon, moon viewing. Moon yeah, viewing. Yeah. And moon viewing. Yeah. <laughs> it's another little bread thing. A oh, little tiny, uh, they look like um, croutons almost. It looks like one of the other ones that we had, of which I can't. It's like a cinnamon toast crunch or those. What the hell's that? Yeah, tastes like the other one, too. Tastes like the kimchi one. No, it's different, it's a lot different. Mm, I like that one better than the kimchi one. <laughs> It's, that just basically tastes like bread. Yeah, burnt toast. toast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that one just tastes like. I like burnt toast. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, this is the Uma Ibo cheese. It's for cheese lovers. It's a crunchy corn stick. It has a rich cheese flavor that is popular in Japan among kids and adults. I'm just going to take a piece and you can have the rest. I lied, I'm taking a bite and you can have the rest. You could have just broke it. You can't, it was breaking in my hand. Well, everything's breakable. It's a cheesy. It's a giant cheesy. <laughs> exactly what it is. It has a hole in the center, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Wow, this is the ramen one. The ramen shop snacks is uh, same as like a ramen noodle, apparently, and it's chicken flavor. Hmm. You like that I could buy too? lots of those. Yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? You have to eat the little worms. Well, yeah, I kind of got that part, but there. Oh, I don't want that many. Right. It exploded. There's like Robin. Just a better version. It's like a better version of um, Mr. Noodles when you don't cook them and you just <laughs> break them in the bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Constellation little, cookies is the them. last one. Well, you get that one open and then I'll move these ones over here. Yep. So this is the Constellation cookie. 
It's uh, for stargazing. It's a thick, crunchy chocolate and biscuit. And it has a cute star design. Isn't that adorable? Oh, there's only one. Oh, it does have an actual star. Uh -huh. yeah. Because I don't really like chocolate. Jesus. The chocolate, it's either the chocolate or the cookie has a very sweet flavor. No, that chocolate has a bitter flavor. Oh, the other part is the sweet flavor then. Yeah, I don't like that. No. <laughs> we'll be mm -hmm. ordering that one again. Ugh, no. <laughs> I definitely don't like that. Yeah, okay, so now you're on to the premium snacks from the box. So there's five this premium snacks. this one here should be pretty, pretty good. We're going to start at the bottom for this one. Yeah, I kind of fitted that one. So we have the Yamato Turtle Crackers. Uh, these have been enjoyed by Japanese people for ages. Their sweet and salty flavor and crunchy texture makes them popular snack all around. And there's cute turtles on it. It's mm -hmm. a weird shape. They like these weird shapes like this. I wonder how they make them like this. Like little, uh... Looks, this one looks more like caramelly than, uh... Crouton. The other one. What's that? Mmm, those are good. Not one of my favorites, but... I don't mind them. I like corn chips. It reminds me of corn chips. So this is the one that was supposed to be uh, the coconut sable yeah, cookies, but it's switched. Okay, so this is um, the sweet potato Colin. And I don't have any other information on that than that. They look exactly like the picture. Yeah, basically. Alrighty. Oh, that was not what I was well, expecting. I was expecting that. Yeah, I expected something crunchy and it's soft. It's terrible. I don't mind them. That's all you. <laughs> No, that's not good. I don't mind those at all. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need to open these ones. Okay. It's so a sweet about. potato Osatsu cracker. I don't mind those at all. It's a sweet and light cracker that will treat you. It's a treat you need to try this item. Fire, it smells horrible. Um, inspired by Japanese sweet potatoes. It smells really sweet. Well, there's two different ones, and I have to try both different colors. The crackers have a perfect balance between salty and sweet, and come in two colors that replicate the colors of the sweet potato, purple and yellow. That's weird. That's very weird. It's the same as that. Yes and no. It is terrible. It's not. Their sweet potatoes are gross. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no. Oh, mm. horrible. I don't mind it. It looks like there's a different flavor that might be better, but. All right, now these ones. These are the ones I've been looking forward to right here. Cheesecake Kit Kat. 
Japanese specific. Apparently they wanted to share it with us this autumn in Kit Kat form because cheesecake is super popular in Japan. The cheesecake flavor is boosted thanks to the cheese powder and hint of salt in the wafers. A must try Japanese dessert inspired snack. It's debatable. Well, they're probably maybe don't like it, so. No, you'll probably like it. It's cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake. Yeah, these are the packages of serious. They huh? have serious packages. These are the tiniest little Kit Kats I've ever seen. Mm. Well, let's try her out. Tastes like white chocolate. Mm hmm. Doesn't taste like cheesecake, though. All I can taste is these broke chips. <laughs> oh, man. And now this. <laughs> the Dido Cross Demon Slayer Sweet Coffee. If you need some energy to fight the demons, we've got you. This tasty sweet coffee features one of 12 different Demon Slayer characters and has delicious sweet flavor that comes from the refreshing and sharp coffee beans. <laughs> Share um, coffee with Tanjiro and the gang this autumn. So I'm assuming this is a <clears throat> cartoon that they have in Japan. Maybe. I don't really like coffee though, but well, we'll see. I've never had sweet coffee, so I don't know what that means. It's the first one you smelled. Why do you <laughs> I don't know, it's coffee. <laughs> You used so to like If you want to get a cup or you just want to drink it out of that. I'll just drink it out of that. Whatever. I don't like coffee. It smells like coffee. I really don't like coffee. You don't like it. It's coffee. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like a, um, it's like a cold regular. It's like a nice coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. But no, iced coffees are much sweeter. Yeah, I guess. I guess. This all wasn't bad. It's all of them. They actually were, for just the one, was gross to me. The sweet yeah, I didn't really mind too many of them. It's only really the one that got me. I was, uh... We have to do a Tokyo Treat community photo. And of course, don't get a treat. Highly recommended. It is delicious. It is well worth the money. It's a I good way to it experience another culture as well. 60 bucks. Something like that. And that is all.